I hope you enjoyed the short film. We all love the film look because of different reasons. Nostalgia, memories we have with loved ones, the movies we grew up with or recent ones like Spencer. Or it is just a preference. What if there was a way to do that to your footage? What if there was a way to add the Portra 800 or 400 look to your videos? Wouldn't that be amazing to make your videos match your analog photos? To cut that sharp digital look that you get from almost all recent cameras and add some defects that make the character of film so special to your footage. Today we are going to take a look at a plugin for DaVinci Resolve that can do that, Dehancer. In this video I am going to show you the effects Dehancer provides and how videos look after you edit them with it a quick overview of the menu and tell you my opinion of the Dehancer plugin. Dehancer is a plugin for DaVinci Resolve that emulates film and effects specific to film like halation, grain and much more. Dehancer offers over 60 photographic and movie films that you can add as a finishing touch on your videos. From subtle film simulations to more punchy and black and white. Let's take a look step by step at the most important effects that the Hanser provides and then jump into DaVinci and show you how it works. First, let's add one of the film emulations available in the Hanser. Add Halation, Bloom and then finally the Grain. In the second clip I added Halation. If you don't know what Halation is, I will quickly explain it. Halation is an effect that appears when shooting film as a red-orange halo near contrasting edges of overexposed areas, as well as a red glare in the midtones. Usually, halation is produced around bright light sources and around specular highlights on reflective surfaces. Next, we are going to add bloom. This is the dispersion of light around bright lights and contrasting edges in the image. People use diffusion filters or mist filters to achieve this effect, but with the Hanser you can cut that cost and easily adjust the intensity in post without needing to use multiple filters with different diffusion levels. And finally we are going to add film grain. Film grain combined with the other effects provides a much more pleasing image to the eye. Even if you don't notice grain in movies, it is almost always present there to make them look more filmic or cinematic. The Hanser doesn't just apply a grain overlay, it looks like it creates the image from grain. Sadly, because of the YouTube compression, you cannot see the grain in its true glory, but trust me, it looks so good. To add the Hanser to your footage, open the effects panel, scroll all the way down, then drag it to your node. If you shot your footage in a log profile, select Source and then select Choose Camera. Next, you can select your brand. I shot this on the Fujifilm X-T4, so I chose Fujifilm. Next, let's select Log Profile and you can see I have the F-Log Profile available. Now, my Log Profile has been corrected. Let's adjust the exposure a bit and move on. Now let's select the film profile. You can see there are so many profiles you can choose from. Let's go with this one. The next option we have is the push-pull process. In short, pushing or pulling film is when you rate your film at a different speed from the one written on the box. Then you compensate for the difference when you develop it. Film gave different results depending on how it was exposed. 
So moving this slider gives you those results, underexpose and overexpose. Choose a film look and experiment with this tool. Next we have the expand which lets you adjust the black and the white points. You can use this to add more contrast to your footage. More options you can play with, Dehancer has some great articles on their site that explain all these options in great detail. Here you can see how the film emulation would look on photographic paper. The color density option affects only the greens, the blues, the yellows and the reds as you can see in this footage. Color head, here you adjust the magenta, yellows, greens individually or you can click gang and move them all at once. Now the film grain, here you can adjust the amount of grain, the size and much more depending on your taste. Look at the edges in this frame when I click on and off. See how the image is made out of grain and is not just an overlay. I found my favorite size to be around 1.8 and the amount between 11 and 15 for a subtle look. Also the grain option is great if you want to hide noise or defects in your footage. Next we have halation, the most popular effect in the past year. You see how the contrasting edges get a red halo around them? You have so many options to experiment with, you also have a mask option to better see how it affects the image. Also, you can play with the hue and make it more orange if you want to. Now let's jump to Bloom, which again is very easy to adjust and has a mask mode itself. This makes it easy to see where the bloom is being applied. As I said earlier, with this option you don't need filters anymore. Next we have vignette which is self-explanatory, film breed and gate weave. Gate weave is the accidental change in exposure, contrast and color from frame to frame as the film moves. Gate weave refers to the mechanical swinging of a film strip while it is being pulled through a frame window in a film camera, projector or video coding device. And finally we have false color. I know I didn't went through all the options but these I think are the most important. So Dehancer reached out and asked me if I want to make a review and I said yes because after seeing what Dehancer can do I was very excited to try it out. I was not paid and they did not ask me to say anything, just my honest opinion. So what do I think about Dehancer? I think it is an impressive tool and the amount of detail and features that it provides is just amazing. Imagine the amount of work they've put into this plugin, to have a push-pull option for every film emulation and that is just the tip of the iceberg. I think Dehancer is an amazing tool to have because it offers so many film emulations and options that will make your job easier and more filmic. The film look is getting more and more popular and having this plugin in your editing arsenal is a must. If you want to buy it, check out the link in the description and use the code ANDREDIMA for a 10% discount. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please like and subscribe and if you want to support the channel check out the links in the description. See you next time.